Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and today we're making an adventure time cake with Finn Human and Fimo. Finn is quite tall and skinny so I'm making a smaller sized cake that just used two round cakes to make him. You can scale it up and make him bigger if you want if you have lots of people coming to your party. Take your cakes and level off the top and cut out two full circles using a circle cutter. If you don't have one just get a small round bowl or something like that and cut around it. And then we want to use the edges to piece together the little scrap pieces to make another full circle and repeat that with your other cake so that you have six circles all together. Take a cake stand and put some buttercream on top to stop the cake moving around and then add your first circle of cake and you want it towards one side so that he can sit there but not right on the edge. Add more buttercream and then another layer of cake and for the cake and the frosting recipes that I am using just visit the website howtocookthat.net and I'll put a link in the description below. When you get to a piece together layer, then add some buttercream on the edge of each piece so it kind of glues them all together and then add that on top. Now because the cake is tall and skinny it's going to need some support after four layers just to stop it toppling over to give it a bit more support. So push a cake pop stick down the middle and then using scissors grab it right at the level of the cake and pull it out again and cut it off at that level and then cut two more to the exact same length. Then poke each of those back into your cake all the way down until you hit the cake stand and then take a circle of card and wrap it in foil so it doesn't absorb the moisture from the frosting and put that on top. Then add some more frosting and the remaining layer of cake. So we've used five layers of cake altogether for the body which means we have one left over that we'll use in a minute. Using your serrated knife to shape around the top layer so that it's rounded all the way around. Then cover the whole thing in a thin layer of buttercream and place that in the fridge to firm up. It's pretty hot here today so this buttercream is fairly soft. To make Finn's pack we're going to use the remaining circle and to make it rounded like his backpack looks take all the other cake scraps and crumble out the middle cake crumbs leaving the browned outer edge of cake and then add some buttercream and mix it together just like if you're making cake pops. Put the circle of cake onto some non-stick baking paper and then add the mixture on top and round it out to make the shape of his backpack and then place that in the fridge to firm up. Then take your fin cake out of the fridge and completely cover it in another layer of smooth frosting. And then take some acetate or some thin bendy plastic and curve it and run it up the sides of the cake to smooth it out. Then add the backpack on the cake stand just next to Finn there. If you rest it on your hand and then just slide the paper out underneath, it should go on nice and smoothly. Then if it's too big to fit nicely like mine is, just trim a bit off and make it so that it all fits in there. Roll out some green fondant and trim off one side to make it straight and drape it over the backpack, covering two thirds of it. Use your fingers to smooth it out around and down to the bottom of the platter and then trim it off using a knife. Repeat that at the top of the pack but use a lighter colour fondant and overlap it a little so that you've got enough to join there. Now roll out some blue fondant for his t-shirt and trim it at the top and the base and wrap it around his body. Now I know that this is the wrong colour for his shirt, it should be lighter but I'm actually running short on fondant today so we're going to make his clothes a little bit different. When you make it you can make them the right colours though. Squeeze it together at the back so that the two sheets of fondant are well joined and then trim it off using scissors. Then add some white fondant over the top, just draping it over the top. Lift it up and smooth it down, lift it up and smooth it down as you go around. And then measure using a ruler and mark it at 10 centimetres or 4 inches. And do that in a few places around. If I don't do this I always end up cutting it crooked like it's going down on an angle. So I like to mark a few different marks so I know where the knife should go. Then gently press the knife in on that level. We don't want to cut all the way through our cake. We don't want to cut through our blue fondant. So just gently press it until you see your blue and then your fondant will come away. Roll a ball of fondant and then roll it into a rounded cylinder. Then put it down and cut it on a diagonal through the middle. Then take one of your pieces and bend the smaller thinner end around your thumb. And then just add that to the top of the cake, one on each side. 
Now let's give him purple pants today, why not? If you're a mum making this for your kids, make sure you get these pants the right colour. They're actually supposed to be dark blue. Cut a long strip and wrap it around the base of your cake. Then roll out another strip of purple and a long snake of skin colour fondant. And use your finger to add a little bit of water to the purple fondant and then squash down the end of the skin colour and wrap the purple around it and use your scissors to trim it off at the join. Then flatten that end out and then cut it around so that it looks rounded and then add it to the side of your cake for his leg. Trim it off just above the bench height and repeat that for the other leg. Now to make his shoes, roll a snake of black and cut two shoe length pieces and then trim off the leg a little bit higher and then use some water to join the black to the leg, bending the black under so that it looks a bit like a boot and then do that on the other leg as well. Now roll out a thin snake of white and just wrap it around the join there so it looks like his sock. And you'll notice I have some non-stick baking paper under his feet and that's so the feet don't stick to the bench top. And to make his face, I've just printed out a picture of Finn and I'll put the one in the size that I'm using on the website so you can print that out if you want, otherwise you can just do an image search and find your own. And as I said, you can scale it up and make it bigger if you need to. And then use your finger, just rub around the edges of it just to smooth it off so it's rounded. Peel off the paper and then using a little bit of water on the back to make it stick, just add it to the front of your cake. Then use your printout again to mark where his eyes and his mouth are. His mouth is quite high on his face compared to a normal face. Roll a tiny ball of black and add them into place for his eyes and then use an edible marker to draw on that mouth. For the backpack, roll out some light green and dark green snakes of fondant and join them together like we did with the leg and the foot and then just add them for straps onto the pack. To make BMO, roll out some pale green and then cut a chocolate bar in two. I'm using a Mars bar, but if you can't get them where you are, any chocolate bar will do, preferably one that's a bit sort of boxy, rectangular type shape. Uh, then wrap them up like a present and smooth out your sides. And you can make BMO out of solid fondant if you want. I just prefer to have something yummy in the middle. Add your little shapes to the front and then cut out a square for the screen and use your knife to round out the corners. Put that on top and then add a bit of fondant for the mouth and draw on the eyes. Add a strip of grey and then roll out a really thin snake of yellow and cut two short bits, cross them over each other and then add them on top. And then just use your knife to straighten up the edges so it looks like the cross control bit. Add the last button, I don't have any red so it's going to be pink today, all our colours are muddled up. Then turn him on the side and add the seven little indents and the letters B, M, O. Using a little water, add him into place on Finn's knee, resting on the backpack. You may also need to add a little bit of white fondant underneath at the back just to support him. To make Finn's arms, follow the same method that we did for his legs. Now he looks really weird with no arms. Join them onto the side of the body and wrap one arm around Bimo like it's holding him into place. Cut it off at the right length and then flatten it a bit at the end to make his hand and use your scissors to make two cuts for his fingers. Add the other arm in place, just letting it rest on his leg and make the hand in the same way. Now BMO needs some legs, so roll out a snake of BMO green and cut a short section and bend it up on one end to make his foot. Using a spatula or a knife so you can get in underneath there, just push the leg end onto the base of BMO and then add your other leg too. Make his cute little arms just like we made Finn's arms and add them, the first one coming out of the O there and then holding onto Finn's hand. For the other one, wrap it around and then attach it to the other side of his body. Then draw a quick backdrop and you have an adventure time cake. This cake was requested by Ellie Maria, Rockwood Ida, Cupcake Power, Zoe, Isabella, Bella, Tiara, Bernice, Riley, Sheena, Trevor, Park, T. Hun, Teddy Bear 548, Pollen on My Nose, Trevor, Fez 505, Katie, Evelyn, Molly, Forevermore, Rio, Crizel, Nini, Verity, LPS, Love Pup, Punapim, Tegan, Lynn, Alex the Super, Joanna, Nicole, Tiara, Anne Q, Katie Lee, Renee, Selena, and so many others. Put all of your requests below. Subscribe to How to Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here to go to the channel and here for last week's video. Have a great great week and I'll see you on Friday.